Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So tonight I want to go over a different spin, I guess you could say, on uh, Sapphire Steel. Um, been messing around with the build, been kind of having actually a good time with it. Um, I'm super excited for the new Mufasa card that got announced. I think that card is going to be legit balls and uh, can't wait to mess with that in this deck. Um, my locals over at Ghost Gaming in Denver is going to jump into Lorcana for set 5. So I'm really excited to get on that. You'll see a lot of locals, tourneys and everything like that. Um, hopefully. God willing, <laughs> with a new job and everything I can get some time off to do it. But um, yeah, let's get right into the profile. So as you can see already, it changes right away. Um, so to begin with, I'm playing um, Oh lord, what happened here? I messed up. Hold on. I'm so sorry. This is how you know we're doing it live. is because I'm not cutting out <laughs> anything for anything, right? Uh, oh, there he is. Okay, cool. I had one of my guys on the bottom. Okay, so... Starting out, we're running four of uh, Kit Cloud Kicker. Great. Turn one has ward. Um, you don't need to attack with him. And I can show you guys kind of like what you want to do for turns one through five in this version of the deck and how you're focusing it. Um, but yeah, this is my first one drop that I've had since Robin Hood. Um, pretty cool. So, uh, and then I'm also playing, of course, uh, Force Me. He's probably like my first early game starter in the game period um, and that's over like coming from practicing with the hero deck the stand together deck I loved Anna and all she brought to the table but like this dude is pretty nuts and um, like early turns he can really get you through a lot of stuff so gotta think about that um, and then, of course, I'm running the four uh, Hiram. He's the heart and soul of the deck. You really need to have this guy fuck a uh, ticking at all times, just as quick as you can. Uh, and then I'm playing. So I kind of net decked this. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I did see somebody trying to build with this stuff, and they were only using three of this. And I tried it. And ever since I've tried it initially, I've just loved it. I've loved having just three in there because I see them just enough. Um, the ward is great, the protection is great. Um, you'll never use a shift because I don't play any of the Cogsworth, but just overall great card, great utility. Um, and then let's get into our main questers, which I'm still on the fence with, especially with Mufasa coming here in about a month. Uh, it's currently the middle of July, so probably about three weeks, four weeks from now, we're going to get Mufasa, but for right now, I'm using um, two Ariel. She's just nuts with Lucky Dime. I am using two Herc right now because I like the Bodyguard. I'm probably going to take them out, and I'll... If you guys want, please, if I can get like two comments in below just saying, hey, what would you take out for Herc? Um, I'll do another video and kind of show you that. And then another mistake that I think I made is going down to three Tink. Because I did supplement taking out her for one of, or one of her for her, and I don't really like that. I'd like to put her back to four. Um, the main attacker right now <laughs> is Kit, because you get three, and I'll show you guys again the combo, um, or it will the the curve you want with this guy. Um, and then I am playing three Tomasar, so. I've been a big preacher of four of this guy, but with Kit in there now, I'm running just three. So, but things to be changing because of new class level. So, it's the end of a format or coming to an end of the format and said championships are right now. So people are just tinkering left and right because they want to get an advantage, right? So you're going to see all kinds of left field like builds happening. So be expecting of it. Um, I am running four Fortisphere, of course, and four. Obstacle. You never not run those. Uh, for a fish one, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory stuff, guys, for Blue Sapphire. 
I am running the uh, two lucky dime. I am running a let it go. I just love the dealing damage to certain people or to certain characters. You can just hit a board, and on top of that, hit. Um, and you can go ahead and draw a card. So, and then I am playing three Zeus, uh, two let it go. I know a lot of people are only playing one, but I really like this card, and I really like putting stuff into my opponent's uh, inkwell. And then I am running three Grab Your Sword. I did take out the Mickeys and I put in the wheel instead. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I I know it's an amazing card, guys, and I get it. I just don't like it. <laughs> like I don't ever like giving my opponent a fresh hand of cards. I just don't believe in that, but I don't know. I'm trying it out. So. Uh, two Fire the Cannons. I am running one Rise of the Titans. And to uh, hit Duck Mega. So let me get you guys into the combo that you want to see turns one, two, three, and four and five. So, um, and then we'll get out of here. But <coughs> I'm probably honestly going to do another video like right after this, just showing a different version of the deck that I'd like to show you guys. So be prepared for that. But turn one, you want to drop this guy, okay? Uh, turn two, you either want to drop a Fortisphere and a Popsicle, or you want to drop Smith. Cool. Turn three, you want to drop him. Swing in for two. Hopefully you have a Popsicle or something like that. Turn four, you want to drop this, unless you're dropping uh, here. So you're essentially swinging like, your opponent has to play Kepcha against a Steel Cell Fire deck. Which, it's already, like, kind of weird against a Steel Cell Fire deck. You always want to be... You're always kind of finding yourself behind in this deck. So, it's hilarious that now you can kind of just reverse the tables. So, really like that aspect. Again, I don't know how I feel about this build over a more traditional build with other stuff in it. Um... I am really liking builds that I'm seeing with like the one drop Captain Hook. I'm really liking builds that I'm seeing with um without the wheel with more just Mickey and one jump ahead and you're relying on Tomatoa really to carry. Um just because I believe more in that than I do this. Because I think this is still easy to get rid of unless you have a Cogsworth. Like, if I had this and then Cogsworth right here for turn five, I'd probably feel a lot more comfortable about this. But with this there, you're kind of like forced to put this instead because you're trying to go balls of the wall. You're trying to just jump up by 10 on your opponent out of nowhere with Sapphire Steel, which already knows that you're still digging for your lucky dumps. So that's the thing there. So, but please, uh, please guys, like, comment, subscribe. It'd go a long way for the channel. Please help out with that. I come from Yu Gi Oh! and I did tell my whole viewer base uh, in my recent videos that probably not playing the game right now just because they're in kind of like a really bad format and a really stale format and like the announcements that happened this week were just really off-putting to me so it'd go a long way if you guys help me out by supporting the channel so anyway be on the lookout again i'm gonna put, uh, do another video of steel sapphire but with stuff that i kind of like more than just the stuff i've been testing so um Again, be kind, be respectful of each other, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace.